Uh, I think what the trap that I fall into, especially as a father, I think about it in my organization too, but as a father, I notice that I get really good at like barking commands, like do this, do this, do it this way, do it that way. And what I have failed in the past to realize is that although I might get some compliance by barking those commands, I'm missing an opportunity to let my kids flounder through it a little bit, but also figure it out on their own and let them exhibit and develop some leadership characteristics because they're not worried about dad barking orders at them. Does that make sense? It absolutely makes sense. And you're just hitting the kind of tip of the iceberg when it comes to barking orders. When you bark orders, when you bark orders at your kid or your employee or your, whoever, does that improve your relationship with them or, or does it deteriorate the relationship? It deteriorates. Think? I think that, I think the trap that we fall into those, we think that, oh, because they did it, it worked, but yep. it doesn't mean that actually worked in the long Short haul. term. Yeah. It's a short term solution. And the long term outcome is you have people that don't like you, don't respect you, don't trust you. And they, they're looking for the first opportunity to rebel against you or, you know, sabotage what you're doing. So barking orders is never good. Although, as you heard me say earlier, there are scenarios that unfold sometimes where people broadly are overwhelmed and what you need to do is step up and make things happen. And yes, that might include barking some orders to get things to happen immediately in a dynamic situation. And, you know, I, I talked about this in leadership strategy and tactics, when to step up and lead and when to step up and lead as a leader is something that's people don't pay attention to it, but you want to pay attention to it because if you come home and the, you know, everyone in your family is doing what they're supposed to be doing and everyone's, you know, dinner's getting made and you know, the kids rooms are clean and you know, the yard work is done and, and things are going the way they're supposed to be going. Well, and then you, you come in there and start to impose on that situation. That's not good. There's no reason for you to step up and lead. The, 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 the team is handling it. So oftentimes we try and we try and impose our leadership when it's not necessary. And so you have to learn to pay attention and look for when there's an actual leadership vacuum where there's no leadership happening. And that's when you can step in and you can start making decisions and at least start pointing in the right direction. You don't necessarily have to start barking orders again, unless it's a dynamic emergency situation or a critical situation, then you might have to bark a couple orders. But other than that, much of the time, if you're doing a good job broadly as a leader, your troops are going to lead themselves and you don't have to say a damn thing. Yeah, I think, uh, I think the power in this comes when you don't unnecessarily use tools because if you continue to use the tool, the same tool over and over again, you diminish some of its power. And if you're leading effectively in other areas of your life, when you actually bark orders, I think people are going to say, oh, like something's different. I better listen this time because you've built up credibility and authority and trust through your other actions that when you do on the rare occasion have to bark some orders, people actually toe the line and listen because of what you've done to build the authority and credibility. Yeah, this is, uh, I, I often talk about leading with the minimum force required and, mm. and that's what you want to do. I also always say the less you talk, the more people listen. And I give the example that, you know, when I was a task unit commander and tasking a bruiser, I would rarely talk on the radio because there's activities happening. But when I did talk on the radio, it was like instant compliance from everybody because everybody knew that if I was talking, it needed to happen now. So mm -hmm. yes, this is, this is an accurate assessment.